Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 7 feature tutorials, local functions brought to you by Acpro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the other important feature that is local functions. So local methods and functions is already there in the current version of C Sharp and we can achieve them with the help of func and action types, but they have some limitations. Okay, we cannot have the following features in it like generics, out parameters, ref, and params. Those are the, these are the limitations to local method we have in the current version of C sharp. So right now in this session, what we are going to learn about this C sharp new feature local function is it's very simple topic. So here you can observe very clearly we have a code snippet and I have a main method and below that I have a user defined method that is add and this add method takes two parameters a and b and what's the functionality it's doing it's adding that variables the value of the variables and it's returning that so you and other important point to keep in mind this method had method is a private method and now what I need to do is okay it's very simple I'll execute this piece of code and I'll show it in Visual Studio and later I'll tell you like how do I convert this private method to a local method so let me jump into Visual Studio and here comes my Visual Studio. So first, what I'll do is let me create two variables: int a equals one and int b equals two. And I need to define my method, that is private method, private static. Let me make the method a static such that I can call it directly in my main method. Then the method name is add, and it takes two parameters: a comma int a comma int b this is what it takes right now and what it's gonna do is it's going to just add and it is going to return so a plus b so now since it is a static method I can call directly with my main method so console dot right line and I'll call that add method to that add method what I'll do is I'll just pass my local variables a and b which holds the value 1 and 2 respectively so what is the output we are going to get, get when I run this program? It's 3. So now I've run the application by pressing Ctrl F5. So let's wait for that. It's going to bring a console window on my machine. So here you can observe very clearly we have got the output as 3. And it's very pretty simple example. So let me jump into presentation and our objective is okay we have one method and this main method is dependent on this private method to call inside it so now what our objective is we'll convert this private method okay as the local function and it's going to execute inside that so how can I convert this private method to a local method and the agenda is something like it looks pretty cool when I call this private method inside this main method okay now how do I convert it now we will refactor and create a local function so that private function what we add in my in my earlier presentation here okay, in earlier slide this method I'm going to make it as a local function how can I do that it's very simple this snippet explains that very clearly okay now let me show you how do I convert that private to a local function what I need to do is I need to just remove this and I need to cut this piece of code and I have to paste it here okay and this is very simple so now let me remove this and let me remove the, these two okay now when I press Ctrl F5 you can observe very clearly we'll get the same output as 3 as expected so this is how we'll convert a local function we'll make a private function into a local function so let me jump back to presentation and here you can observe this is how we can convert um, private function into a local function and apart from that what I do here is it's very simple and I also avoided passing the parameters because I have my local variables a and b okay and they are accessible within this method also that's the reason I've removed the parameters that is one advantage and apart from that I can reduce this this method still by using the C-sharp version 6 feature that is bodied expression so instead of writing like this I can go with the bodied expressions like goes to a plus p and this also works well when I press ctrl f5 we'll get the same output as expected that is 3 so this is how okay we'll make a private function to a local function and that's what we saw in this demo okay and finally I would like to tell like what we learned in this session okay the, there are two main main ideas we have to keep keep in mind when you work with local functions okay keep in mind I can define a private helper method inside of my outer method that's what I, this code explains you 
okay I can define my private method inside of this outer method this main method okay and I still can call it where I need to invoke it but I have to write less code to define my private helper method since the local function is defined in the main scope in the same scope as my outer method local variables are available that's the reason that's the reason you can observe very clearly in my piece of code okay uh, since I define my method inside this main method itself I don't need to pass the parameters because I can access this local variables present here so that is one advantage of using the local function so this means I have to pass less to the helper method that's what we don't need to pass the extra parameters since the local variables are, are available to that local function so this is what we learned about the local function in this session and in the coming session we'll be learning about some other good features of C sharp version 7 so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to my youtube channel Langport Training. you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for other reference refer website we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day